The Ivory Coast, or its official French name of Côte d'Ivoire, doesn't come from the same reasoning as the also French Côte d'Azur. It's not because the country has an ivory colouring to it. This name comes from the fact that this part of the world was a large export of ivory. This ivory trade in the nation was set up by the French who established a trading post in the land in 1830. From then all the way up until 1960, the country was under French control. This explains to us why its official name in French is Côte d'Ivoire, and why the official language of the country is French. Before this name was agreed upon, however other names were used in the country too. Names like Côte de Dunt, which means the Teeth Coast, and Côte de Defense, which means the Tusk Coast were used too, of course both relating to the ivory. When the French first settled in the land, it's believed there would have been an abundance of elephants in the region, along with other large mammals too, like rhinoceroses. However, between then and now, it seems those numbers have diminished greatly, with a 2011 article stating that there were only two to 300 elephants left in the country. In just 1980, it was 10 times this, but in just shy of 40 years the numbers of elephants have been driven down due to poaching and deforestation. There was a mass fall in population between 1900 and 1910 when ivory prices quadrupled. Ivory has always been a precious commodity, used to be made into an assortment of things from jewellery, trinkets and even piano keys. With its beautiful natural colouring and what skilled craftsmen can make it into, it's easy to see why this material was so prized. Unfortunately obtaining ivory means the killing of elephants. Not only are elephants magnificent animals, they play a hugely important role in their ecosystem. In dry seasons, they use their tusks to dig for water, not only obtaining water for themselves but other small animals too. And when they eat in the forest, the gaps in vegetation they create allow new plants to grow and allow small animals through. Even their poop is important. From what they eat, their dung contains many seeds, allowing more vegetation to grow. Killing elephants not only kills the elephants, but kills other forms of life that depend on them too. And of course, elephants are an animal beloved by many. People come to Africa from across the globe to see them in their natural habitat. Elephants can bring money to a nation just as a sight to see, not just for their tusks to be sold. Luckily, ivory trade in the Ivory Coast has gone down significantly. In 1989, a ban on international ivory trade was established, and elephant hunting has been just a small faction of the country's economy for over a century. However, visiting the nation, ivory trinkets can still be found in the nation's gift shops and stalls. I can understand why ivory would still have an appeal, especially for tourists. You're in the Ivory Coast, you're going to want some ivory, if you're that way inclined anyway. But like I said, poaching of elephants in the Ivory Coast has gone down drastically, so where is the ivory coming from. Well, in 2018, a haul of elephant tusks estimated to be worth $450,000 on the black market was seized in the Ivory Coast. It was reported that the ivory had come from across Africa, from Gabon, Nigeria, Mozambique, and even Uganda, due to be sent off to Vietnam. Despite the ivory not coming from the Ivory Coast, ivory is still finding its way into the nation. To me, this seems like something of a one step forward, two steps back kind of scenario. While it's great to know that elephants being poached in the Ivory Coast have gone down significantly, ivory is still being brought into the country and elephant poaching is still an issue across a lot of Africa. This got me thinking, should the Ivory Coast change their name? I was thinking about this from both angles and I can see both sides. The name of the Ivory Coast can be seen as a bad thing, a remnant of its past where its most known commodity was the tusks of dead elephants. There were other coast nations in West Africa, the Pepper, Gold and Slave Coast, all two named after their biggest exports, which is just a tad unsettling in regards to the Slave Coast. But these names no longer appear on a modern map, so why should the Ivory Coast Coast. But conversely, I can see Ivorians not wanting this name to change. It's the name they know and the name of the country they are proud of. As we've looked into in the past, changing the name of a country can be a huge hassle. And this is all just my thinking. As far as I'm aware, there are no actual talks of a name change happening in the country. Perhaps this name shouldn't be a reflection of the ivory trade that took place in the nation, but more a celebration of the animal that ivory is attached to. Elephants are clearly important to the nation, with one appearing on their coat of arms, and even their football team are nicknamed the Elephants. The name the the Ivory Coast could be a celebration for the elephants that roam the country, and hopefully continue to live in the country for many years to come. The Ivory Coast was suggested by Kevin Iger, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of the Ivory Coast. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explained patron saint. Name Explain depends on awesome people like yourself to donate a small amount on a monthly basis to help keep the channel running. So thank you to all my patrons who do this. Just that $2 a month helps out in a huge way, gets you exclusive rewards, and puts your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.